Hubble has given us 26 years of remarkable observations. But what comes next? Over the last two years, we have asked some of its most loyal users, advocates and staff what they think we can expect from the telescope's future. Now it's the time to share their answers and their hopes for the future of Hubble. 30 years from now, Hubble will be remembered as the telescope that transformed our view of the universe. So I think that legacy is secure, which is much more interesting is what will it do next and how will it lay the groundwork for the James Webb Space Telescope. Hubble's legacy is undeniable and the research it has spawned has already made a huge impact on our knowledge of the universe. I mean, it's told us how old the universe is, it's told us what the early galaxies look like, and it's produced a whole range of wonderful images and it's engaged the whole population in astronomy in a way that we haven't seen in any other telescope in human history. And it's been the most productive telescope in human history. But instead of looking at the achievements in Hubble's past, it's time to look forward. What might be in store for the telescope in the future? A major field Hubble has left to explore is the study of exoplanets, planets orbiting other stars, planets which, when Hubble was launched, we had never seen. Now there are many telescopes dedicated to finding these alien worlds, and nearly 2,000 have been discovered. Once they're identified, Hubble plays a critical role in finding out what these planets are like. How hot are they? What are they made of? How much water do they possess? And much more. The spectral capabilities of Hubble now are so much better than they were a few years ago that the science questions we're asking are, are spectacular. Um, how much water is on a planet? You can potentially map out a planet and actually look at one side of the planet compared to the other. Um, so there's science questions that we're going to be addressing, which I think will blow people away. The exoplanets Hubble has studied, though hardly close neighbors, are within our own galaxy. Other discoveries are likely to lie much, much further afield. The Hubble Deep Fields are among the most influential images the telescope has ever taken. But Hubble can look even deeper into the cosmos by using the universe's natural gravitational lenses to magnify distant objects, something that's being done through the Frontier Fields Program. And Einstein's theory of general relativity tells us that these massive objects um, actually bend space and time around them. And so galaxies that are behind these clusters uh, will appear brighter and larger than they would otherwise. So basically these things act as nature's telescopes. So we'll be using Hubble with these natural telescopes to peer deeper into the universe than we've ever been able to before. After so many years about just talking about how did galaxies form, we see how did galaxies form. We actually see it, we see a time sequence in time. We see how it evolved with time because we live in a time machine. I think if we can extend it a bit more, that's wonderful. And then also to look at different environments, the way galaxies look in dense environments, what we call clusters of galaxies, compared with the field. So Hubble's work is far from over. There is much left to learn and many new questions yet to be posed. And the astronomers know this. There are still thousands of astronomers waiting for the chance to use Hubble for their research, with 10 times as many applications to use the telescope than can be accommodated. Hubble is just at the peak of its power now, and we're learning new ways to use the Hubble. Uh, we haven't even scratched the surface of what we can do with exoplanets. We've got this new approach of using gravitational lens, lenses to actually uh, magnify the universe in ways that we won't be able to get to until we get to JWST. Uh, we're learning new things about stellar populations. Uh, in some sense, the discoveries are just beginning yet again. We're on another regeneration of discoveries. Hubble is one of the most successful astronomical instruments in history and has made its mark on almost every field of astronomy. 
But its achievements go beyond science to its unique influence on wider society. Hubble has always been a telescope for the public and as such, it has changed humanity's view of the universe. Scientists, of course, I would have many things to tell about the great opportunities for science. But I think the, the great opportunities for the public to meet the science and to meet the universe was incredibly nice. Cowell's biggest accomplishment has been just opening up the entire universe to us in ways that we hadn't really imagined before. I think it's the cumulative sum of all of the observations that Hubble has taken that has given us just such a different view of what the universe is like and our place in it that, uh, you know, it's been really revolutionary. Hubble's place in popular culture has inspired the public to consider the universe differently and it will continue to do so. But its very human appeal has also influenced the work and the lives of the many astronomers who have built careers around it. I've been growing up with Hubble since, since I started working in astronomy. So Hubble has become a very close friend of mine. And I've been through all the ups and downs that Hubble had. It, 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 it fell ill, it needed cure, and I'm, I'm thrilled by the human aspect to it that we had to have astronauts going up servicing it and I had the opportunity to meet some of them. So it's, it's beyond the science, there's a very human story of exploration of the universe involved, which I find very fascinating. As the astronomers who grew up with Hubble await the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope, a key question to ask is, what is left for Hubble? What more does it have to show us? We really need to look back in time and to have information about is the sit was the situation the similar in the very early universe, for example, for the formation of stars, or was it very different? Do we have something that is related in terms of star formation that is related to cosmology, or does it happen everywhere in the same way, uh, independently of the time, the, the cosmic time that uh, these stars formed? Uh, I think we're going to learn a lot more about how stars form and I suspect we're gonna learn a lot more about what's happening in the early universe. Um, even though that's one of Webb's prime science drivers, uh, you still need the Hubble data for context. And so I think that those are all big areas. The mystery is lurking in the early universe and uncovering the very first galaxies that reside there are areas that will be tackled by the Hubble and Webb teams. A new collaboration of telescopes that will take Hubble into the future with the same huge potential for discovery that we have seen over the last 26 years. So in, its, in the infrared, Webb will provide images and information with the kind of clarity that Hubble provides at optical and ultraviolet wavelengths. And I think when you see um, an astronomical object at one wavelength, you immediately want to know what it looks like in a different color or a different wavelength. And so uh, having both of them together is certainly going to be more powerful than either of them alone. So will Hubble, with the help of James Webb, be able to solve the big mysteries of modern astronomy? The origins of the universe, the formation of stars, the nature of dark matter and dark energy. The answer is that nobody knows. And as we have seen in the past, it's not just the new answers, but the new and currently inconceivable questions thrown up by telescopes such as Hubble that make them revolutionary. And Hubble is still up to the challenge. Well, more generally speaking, we are, we are entering new territory in, in many fields of astronomy. So we have discovered over the past 20 years 
that the universe is filled with dark energy and is actually accelerating in its expansion, we have discovered extrasolar planets. So there's a huge range of absolutely novel physics and astronomy that we didn't even know that it existed when Hubble was launched. And so I think that's one of the big fascinations in astronomy that um, we simply don't know what the future holds and having, having these very powerful observatories both in space at the same time, I'm, I'm really sure that there will be new discoveries coming along. I think that with these new instruments we will have a lot of surprises that we don't expect now. And I think that's really the place, the moment where you will have exciting discoveries. When you start working in this field, you realize how dynamic it is, how much things change, um, even how much your, your understanding changes, which is just as remarkable. And I think in that sense, it's really exciting to be part of something where every day you come in and, you know, the next big discovery is just a few hours away or a few days away. And that's the way it is with Hubble, and that's the way it's going to be with Webb. There is a lot of work left to do in astronomy, and astronomers will continue to work with Hubble to make sense of the universe. We are ready to be surprised by nature beyond our wildest imaginations.